Welcome to Gluten Free Works. This video will show you how fingernails can tell us what nutrient deficiencies we are suffering from. Now Cleo, I've noticed at the events we attend, after you give your presentations, many people will come up to you and ask you to help them with their symptoms. And one of the first things you do is you ask to see their fingernails. What are you normally looking for? I'm looking at the fingernails to detect nutritional deficiencies. Mm -hmm. And it's an easy way, something everybody can see, and it tells a great deal because almost all nutrition deficiencies will show up in your fingernails. So first one I look at, I want to see real quick, are there any white spots? Okay. And white spots indicate a zinc deficiency. So if you have white spots from a zinc deficiency, mm -hmm. I would advise taking some zinc, 50 milligrams a day for two weeks, and see what difference it makes. If it doesn't take them away, um, actually what will happen is the spot will grow out. Okay. Uh, it will grow for, if you see it down here, it will grow out to the tip and then and it won't just disappear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it kind of makes it a little difficult, but you watch it growing out and not getting bigger. Oh, okay. getting more of them. Now, I've heard people say that their doctors tell them that, it's, well, you just hit your fingernails. Maybe you bang them on a window or in a car or something like that, but then people say, I have six or seven of them. I'm not hitting my nails all the time. It is true that if you damage the nail, you can get white spotting, mm -hmm. but it's different than those little white spots that uh, get bigger and bigger. They start out pale, and okay. then you notice them getting deeper and deeper white, so that when they get more opaque, the spots. And they, and they keep growing as long as you have this deficiency that's unattended to. So it's an easy thing to take uh, zinc to, uh, supplement, 50 mm -hmm. milligrams. Zinc oxide, it really doesn't make much difference. All, this, all of the zinc ones are good. And then see if that makes a difference. On the other hand, if you also have a vitamin A deficiency, then it's imperative to get a blood level of both zinc and vitamin A. And why is that? Because you you will not use your vitamin A, vitamin A will not be mobilized in your body mm -hmm. without adequate zinc. Oh, so you need your zinc in order to utilize the vitamin A. Correct. But you also know, so then I think right away, well, could it be vitamin A or zinc or okay. both? So then I'll look to see, do they have dry and brittle nails? Mm -hmm. If they, if these nails are chipping or breaking or they can't grow them out, they're real short, and they'll say, well, I bite them mm -hmm. um, because they have rough edges all the time. You can't file them nice and clean. Mm -hmm. So if you see that, you're looking at vitamin A. So it's not the biting causing the short nails. It's the short and broken nails causing the biting. Right, because they're bothersome. I see. Okay, so then you have, you know, you have that um, to look at. So right away I look at those two things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so other things that cause dry and brittle nails, though, are majorly calcium. And if you don't have enough calcium, they'll also be thin. Mm -hmm. So if you have a thin nail mm -hmm. that peels, you know, or cracks, something like that, you're really looking at calcium. The other one is like um, omega-3 fatty acids. We need that to have uh, good integrity of the nail so mm -hmm. that it won't be dry. Mm -hmm. And it factors in there as a fatty acid for that use. And we also need biotin. We know biotin is, makes real nice, healthy, thick hair. Mm -hmm. Well, that goes for the fingernails too. So biotin is another um, one of these nutrients that factor in with these um, poor quality nails. Okay, so then the uh, over under underlying all of these things is protein. Without protein, we can't build quality fingernails. Oh, okay. So, so we need our protein. Exactly. And, and, and inside our body, we need the protein to carry these nutrients. Okay, so another major nutrient that I'm looking for is an iron deficiency. And the reason is, I always look for this, is and celiac disease is very common and underlies especially a long-term um, problem with celiac, with gluten. And what would an iron deficiency look like in the fingernails? It will look like flat fingernails that are not like this, where they normally turn a little bit down like this, they're bended. They'll be flat or scooped up. Okay, I've seen okay. that. Okay. 
and some can be very bad. They can actually be called spooning, where it's so scooped up that it looks like a spoon shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then with that, there will be vertical ridging. So we'll go from <clears throat> the bed of the fingernail to the tip of the fingernail. That's the way they go. The fingernails go vertically. And that's iron deficiency. And that's iron deficiency. And the deeper those ridges are, the more severe the iron deficiency is. Oh, okay. And some of them are so severe that when you run your fingernail across them, they're, they're... You can feel them. You absolutely can feel all of them, but these are so rich. That's why they're called washboard nails. Oh, okay. They're very deep mm -hmm. and um, noticeable. And a lot of people will say, well, I, I say, what do you do about these? Well, I take a fingernail file and I file them down. You know, to try and get them right. smooth, <clears throat> but that's not the answer. It's the answer is simply get a complete blood count, find out from the doctor. From the so doctor, the doctor do a complete okay. blood count. And you just ask. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this I just found out that the bridging of my fingernails is due to iron deficiency, and I would like to have a ferritin level done. Mm -hmm. Ferritin is the name of ferritin. F E R R I T I N, mm -hmm. and this is on the laboratory sheet the name given to determine the level of iron in your bloodstream. And you also want a complete blood count so that you find out if you have anemia, as iron deficiency anemia, and um, because these need to have medical attention, you need to have a baseline, and then you need to get more testing in three months to see if you have enough iron mm -hmm. um, in your supplementation until they even out and you get pulled up to where you should be. It's amazing you learn that from your fingernails. Now, you just spoke about the vertical lines. What about horizontal lines? I've seen that in people's fingernails. I appreciate what you're saying, but I just want to finish one oh. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not just celiac disease that causes this, but it's H. pylori bacter, it's mm -hmm. a bacteria that affects about 40-50% of the population with or without celiac disease, okay. that gobbles up the iron before it even gets out of the stomach, and it draws iron out of the bloodstream, so that's a big cause of iron deficiency anemia, not just malabsorption in celiac disease. Mm -hmm. uh, other, there are other causes like that that need to be addressed, so that's why you need to go to the doctor and find out underlying what is this all about. So if you see the vertical ridges, you can assume iron deficiency, but you should go to the doctor and get tested. And find out, is that low stomach acid? Mm -hmm. Without enough acid in your stomach, you cannot absorb iron properly, okay. or any of your minerals actually. Mm -hmm. And that's a big problem um, across the board in many people, but especially in celiac disease. Okay, so then, to answer your question about the horizontal ridges, these are caused by B vitamin deficiencies. Mm -hmm. So, and what happens is, when we're under stress, mm -hmm. okay, we gobble up our B vitamins, and okay. at that point, especially you're doing a, you're going for a job interview, or you crash the car, or you can't pay the taxes, and all at once that shock of it mm -hmm. will just deplete your vitamins and have this effect. And if it's long run, that's one one horizontal ridge, or all the way across, one. So one Affecting shot. all of your fingernails, but just one. Mm -hmm. If something stress will happen. Hmm. But now if you're under stress all the time, because you're not getting enough B vitamins in your diet, then they're going to be rumpled looking. And you'll see more than this one, you'll see rumples of them. Right, okay. Okay. And of course the deeper they are, the worse the stress was or the deficiency is. Because it's one and the same thing. It's always going to be big deficiencies. And that's the horizontal ridges. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay, and then I like to, well, as soon as you look at someone's fingernails, and you could do that yourself. If you see white fingernails, okay, that is telling you this person is protein deficient. Okay. The whiter the nail, meaning more opaque, and it's sort of it'll be most opaque at the where the moon is at the mm -hmm. base of the fingernail. If you can't see that moon, you need to get a blood test and find out what your levels are of albumin and globulin, okay. because it's 
very important that we have adequate levels of these to they do major um, work in the body they maintain for instance um, blood viscosity so you don't develop edema like you know you see people with um, Swell. swollen ankles or puffy eyes or things like that mm -hmm. and that can be indicative of that so that that white fingernail is going to tell you that you need to tell the doctor hey I have white fingernails mm -hmm. I need to get this protein level done see where I'm at very important you know, and it can be you will need to take enzymes to be able to digest your food properly. It can be, again, um, low stomach acid, as we saw an iron deficiency. A lot of times these two go together. And you'll see white fingernails with vertical ridges, washboarding, mm -hmm. you know, and, and um, scooping nails. And you see them very often together. So... Then I also look to see the condition of the fingernail, uh, around the fingernail, the skin. Do they have hangnails? Oh, hangnails. You know, is the broken skin around it. Mm -hmm. and now I we, get hangnails from time to time. And people do that, and we all do that, and when we do that, we're looking at, if it's just time to time, probably vitamin C deficiency. Mm -hmm. You know, because again, stress of any kind, whether it's physical, maybe you're exercising too much or working too much or it can be mental, physical, social, doesn't matter. Okay. Any kind of stress is going to deplete your vitamin C. And when it does that, then if you notice these broken skin mm -hmm. around your fingernails, then mm -hmm. you can um, get out the lemon and put it in your water and drink it through a straw though so you don't damage your teeth. Mm -hmm. And of the acid. Because of the acid, thank I you. See. Uh, but again, um, we're also looking at protein deficiency, so very often when I see other problems mm -hmm. in nails, you also see chronic hangnails, chronic damage around the fingernail, and that's protein. Protein deficiency. deficiency. So if it's once in a while, it's most likely vitamin C. If it's also, chronic, it's protein. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. The last thing could be is um, folate. Maybe you're not eating enough. Folic acid. Yeah, folic okay. like green leafy vegetables and things like that. So, mm -hmm. so you put them into your diet, and that's really important for good, healthy blood cells mm -hmm. and lots of all your body. Your body depends on folic acid. Without it, you can die. And get very confused. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so these are, you know, so but you know, this, this is, is very like, interesting. It's amazing. Just how many, it's amazing just how many things your fingernails can tell you about yourself. And it's so important then to know these things, and to be aware of them, and to always be on the lookout because our nutritional deficiencies can come or go. Our nutritional status can go up or down depending on what we're eating and how we're absorbing, uh, whether we're being um, impacted by malabsorption from something like gluten or another uh, issue. So this is really important stuff and Cleo, thank you very much for telling us about this. This is John Libinati with GlutenFreeWorks.com. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe below and share us on Facebook. Then visit GlutenFreeWorks.com where we have tons of information, recipes, and tips that will help you get well and stay healthy living gluten-free. If you want to take control of your health, visit our new GlutenFreeWorks health guide at glutenfreeworks.com slash health, where we use medical research from around the world to give you step-by-step -step instructions to quickly identify and fix hundreds of symptoms caused by gluten and nutrient deficiencies. Click here to learn more, and click here to get access now.